him. Now, a new Alzheimer's drug has been shown to slow the disease by about a third. People uh, who took Don Animab in trials were able to do more in their daily lives. It's the second medicine in under a year to raise hopes of an effective treatment for the disease. But there are concerns about the side effects as well as the cost. Well, with more on this, uh, our health and science correspondent, uh, James Gallagher. OK, so when we think about Alzheimer's disease, you have to think of this as being a disease that we just haven't been able to treat. There are no treatments that change the course of this disease. So you get headlines like this, Alzheimer's drug slows the disease by a third, and that becomes a really significant moment in the course of the disease. Now, this isn't a drug that's going to stop Alzheimer's disease or reverse the damage that's already been done, but the way that it works is that when it's given to somebody, it slows the course of the disease so that that decline happens more slowly, allowing people to keep doing the things that they want to keep doing, living independently at, in their own homes for longer. So that's the hope that these drugs, this one and the one that we reported on last year as well, will actually bring in the future. And so just talk us through, you mentioned it there, but just how does it work? OK, well, it, it's clever, and I, let me take you through it, because um, when we reported on lecanemab, which was the other drug last year, we had some nice graphics, and both drugs work in exactly the same way, so we can kind of walk through it with you. So, when you have Alzheimer's disease, you get a build-up of toxic proteins inside the brain, and that's what these red dots here, it's called beta amyloid. Now, the two drugs, the one this year and last year, the way that they work is they're an antibody, and you give that into the body, and what it does is it goes into the brain and it starts sticking to this beta amyloid, the toxic protein that builds up inside the brain. And this is a massive signal to the immune system. It tells the immune system, find it and clear it out. So the point is that at the end, you end up with a brain that has far less of this amyloid inside it. And that's how these therapies are working. James, that's absolutely fascinating. And if it works, fantastic. But of course, people have to have access to it. Yet yeah, there are two massive problems here. So the first one is going to be the cost. So we know how much this drug, lecanemab, the one from last year, is about $25,000 per person per year. We don't know how much denanemab, the one that's been reported more recently, is going to cost, but these are going to be expensive drugs, and that immediately rules it out for huge numbers of people all around the world. The second great challenge is that we aren't actually that good at diagnosing Alzheimer's disease. So what you have to do is be able to do a brain scan or take a spinal fluid sample and actually have a look at what's going on inside the body to figure out, well, do you have this amyloid building up inside the brain, inside the body? Because only in those cases are these drugs going to work? So if you have different types of dementia, then these drugs aren't going to be great. So we need to have a revolution in diagnosing the disease as well as having these drugs. Fascinating. James, thank you so much for that.